This is Corncod One of Nationalist News and Notes. Our nutty oligarchs. I wouldn't mind living under the rule of eccentric billionaires. Hell, I voted for one in 2016 and somewhat more reluctantly in 2020. If these billionaires that wanted to rule over us believed in some kind of transcendence, had at least a little humility as part of their makeup, and were resistant to crackpot political and social theories, I would sleep soundly at night. Think about the dubious people that call the shots, people like Bill Gates and George Soros. They are intelligent men to the extent that they made used piles of money in investments or in particular industries. It takes a lot of brains to make a giant fortune. However, brains in the service of arrogance is another matter entirely. If Mr. Soros wanted to give some advice on currency trading, I would certainly listen to him. But his fanatical application of the ideas of political philosopher Karl Popper leaves me cold. I might listen to Mr. Gates on the subject of computer software, but his weird and fanatical ideas on population control are worthy of a madman. These mugs think not merely that they are smart, but they are super hyper geniuses that are worthy to control the entire world. The so-called smart people of the world overestimate themselves. They read the works of Karl Schwab of the World Economic Forum and they get turned on by his ideas because they hate ordinary people and it appeals to their vanity to completely remake the whole world economic system. There was a goofy guy named Marx too who was fairly bright, and he had some innovative ideas about the reorganization of the world, and we saw a couple of hundred million people murdered. These billionaires are godless. They see no authority greater than themselves. No philosophy they hold counsels any kind of restraint. They think that they are super geniuses, worthy to pay off and intimidate feckless politicians, all too happy to do their bidding. It works for them. They don't lose any standard of living. People will continue to bow and scrape to them no matter what happens. We have to fight these people. It's going to take a worldwide effort. This is Corncod One of Nationalist News and Notes, signing off.